Hi everyone, prepare to pray, prepare to intensify in prayer, and prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. This video will bless you greatly. Stay connected to it, and God bless you. Spend time to know God by His Word. Don't be ignorant if you want to excel in life and destiny. The God that you know, the truths that you know, that is what will give you confidence, is what will give you audacity. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Receive, manifest his power and his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Receive, manifest your power. And your wisdom, Lord, till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. It's a prayer tonight. Breathe, Lord, breathe. One more time from the depth of your heart. That something from heaven will rest upon your destiny. Till the nations see Jesus. Till the nations see Jesus. Till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, glorified. Listen to me. I'm singing it for you, but it's your life and your results that will do the singing. Amen. The kind of results that will begin to flow from your life. And I'm speaking this upon you. And in this church, you will begin to see extraordinary manifestations. Manifestations of power. Manifestations of wisdom that ordinary people will walk into this church and encounter Ebenezer, the God that lifts men, the God that helps men, the God that rewrites the stories of men. Where a little one becomes a thousand, a little one becomes a thousand. That God will fish help us from around the nation and bring them to your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Spend time to know God by His Word. Don't be ignorant if you want to excel in life and destiny. The God that you know, the truths that you know, that is what will give you confidence. Is what will give you audacity many years ago I read a few things in scripture and looking from hindsight now sometimes I'm tempted to laugh at myself but I was foolish enough to believe God and I was foolish enough to believe them there is nothing God has said concerning my life that I do not believe because every time you believe he gives you power to become as many as believed him, he gave them. There is a gift that follows believing. It's called the power to become. Say it after me. The power to become. One more time. The power to become what you have believed 
is given after you believe not before the power to become you believe that God lifts you the power to be lifted is released you believe that God is your salvation the power to become happens when you can believe him enough hallelujah you need an encounter with the God of the Bible you need an encounter God is calling you to ministry here don't rush to go and print handbills and posters no know the God of the Bible infirmities and sicknesses and curses and yokes that are upon the people you are sent to the spirits behind them will ask you who sent you it's a question if you cannot answer you will remain defeated forever do you believe that yes. how about the business world you may say i'm not called into the fivefold ministry my god you need the revelation of god more in business in fact in my opinion because the king of tyre there is a spirit that sits upon that marketplace satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church yeah because he knows what the wealth of the kingdom can do in the hands of people who love jesus you may have heard me say in my teachings that the name of jesus is very heavy it takes resources to lift it high for the nations to see are we together and so he comes to steal he comes to kill he comes to destroy but the people that do know their god the people that do know their god the preachers that do know their god the businessmen that do know their god fountain of life if you do know your god the bible says you shall be strong capacity strength inner strength emotional strength intellectual strength and then it says you shall do exploits do exploits everything that brings glory to the name of the lord becomes your business do exploits testimonies from your life men will look at you and you do not add up but that becomes your concern you see that as for you you will keep leaping by the spirit and one day you look at yourself and say what is my business doing in 15 nations of the earth how did i start and when people come to ask you you say well i cannot boast of knowing any everything but the one thing i do know <laughs> is that when god holds your hand i'm praying that you are believing what i'm telling you my sister god can hold your hand and transition you from a level of suffering and mediocrity God can hold the hands of a preacher God can hold the hand of an ordinary family for want of expression and every time you see people extraordinary in the kingdom let me tell you it is because God has helped them and that help comes when you encounter the God of the Bible I look at my life today and with all humility sometimes I'm not a very emotional person I've tried and tried to be it just didn't work and I told myself there's there's no point I'm sure one day to come on his own but there are a few times I cry and that is when I reflect on what is made out of my life I look at my life and sometimes I say only a fool says God does not help men honestly there are things that God does in your life that you are the first person to be shocked before those who hear he says when the Lord turn again the captivity am I prophesying no I'm just speaking when the Lord turn again that captivity owing in business failing in destiny trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the midst of mockers and naysayers but when God comes <laughs> and just picks you sometimes it can be overnight let me stand by the grace of God and speak over someone that by the power that raised Christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this everything that has left you in shame reproach caused you to cry 
personally corporately I call upon my God who is also your God come out of that situation now come out of that situation now come out of that financial situation come out of that health situation come out of that business situation come out of that career situation in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after to me no wall you will keep down lie you will tear down coming out to me no shadow you will light up spirit of fear for some of you if you keep giving flimsy excuses you will never make progress you will watch others come behind you not to compare some of you have been given excuses from time immemorial why have you know I, I need to calculate how I cause fear right now in the name of Jesus I cause fear right now my God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind hear me fountain of life I cause fear the fear of death the fear of sickness the fear of failure I call it by name and I cause it by the God of heaven the righteous is as bold as a lion listen let me challenge you go and register that company after this conference all you have is the money for registration go and register it what do I do next place the CAC document on the ground and keep praying every day pray with your pen and paper let me tell you the truth fear is a cancer that has pegged many destinies there are people who fear they fear to their detriment it's better to fail honorably trying than to sit down giving flimsy excuses many of you have watched your vision transferred to people those who had the courage god gave you ideas you kept giving explanation he took it to somebody somewhere and the person began to run like elijah and that vision has come to pass and you keep biting your finger and i saw this you are not the only one who saw it visions are like rainfall whoever brings out a container receives it are we together acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about like he wants you to go about doing good healing all day that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him Isaiah chapter 61 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me let me tell you the truth the anointing of the Holy Spirit is more than oil it's just represented in oil or mantles or whatever it is that you use oil does not anoint until the oil is anointed itself are we together now yes. so the anointing of the Holy Spirit is the engracing that comes from God please listen upon a life it is the empowerment that transits you from a believer to a witness the empowerment that transits you from a believer to a witness from one who merely agrees with God to one who demonstrates that God is alive you become a validator of God's claims when that anointing rests upon you now I'm not because 
um, I'm just touching on it but for you to know that there are different levels and there are different dimensions of the anointing every level of result in the kingdom is sponsored by the anointing when you see extraordinary manifestations of the spirit happen when you see people prosper in the kingdom there is something called the power to prosper the power to prosper has nothing to do with money unfortunately it's been wrongly understood and even taught the power to prosper is not a financial anointing no the power to prosper is the grace for advancement that is what makes people go forward you cannot move forward if you don't have the power to prosper finances is only a byproduct is a minute fraction of what that anointing was mandated to do when God wants to help a man there are three ways he helps that man number one he exposes that man to his mercy the ministry of mercy is the first way God helps men number two the ministry of men when God wants to help a man he sends you men every time you are saying God help me it's important to know how your answers look like if you don't know how your answers look like you will make the mistake they made in Acts chapter 12 they prayed for the release of Peter Peter was now released he came and knocked the door they opened it and shot it at him and kept praying because they didn't know what their answers should look like you must know what your answer looks like when you are saying God help me in Lagos how will the answer look like mercy two men three the anointing he helps men by placing something upon their lives that produces godlike dimensions of results listen there is no man who can do these things except god be with him nicodemus said i'm saying this because i'm about to speak over your life most of you you've prayed you fasted you've said lord take me to a higher realm can i tell you yesterday's anointing cannot produce today's results you will need to be empowered again and again here's how it works thou anointest my head with oil watch this now but my cup runneth over he does not anoint the cup you only use the cup to verify what is on your head thou anointest my head with oil the ministry runs over the business runs over so when the cup is failing don't blame the cup the cup is failing because the head is empty leave what you are hearing there are various kinds of anointings there is an anointing for influence you can be as vocal and as intelligent as you are a generation will not hear you until that anointing is upon you i call it the hear ye him anointing but when it comes god will raise men from anywhere to anywhere to hearken to you there is the grace for speed that gives men acceleration in life because the most expensive commodity on earth according to scripture from a human standpoint is time and the moment time is against you you are already in trouble destiny is measured as a function of time so there are two remedies when time is against you one is called speed two is called restoration and when god wants to really help you he brings both are we together you know what it means to give speed much is accomplished per unit time that's speed you know what it means to restore to take the events that you missed and bring them into your future or you think God cannot do that so the helper who would have helped you last year but because of insensitivity God reprograms it again when you watch a movie technology has been able to help us understand how restoration is so you're watching a movie and you had to rush to use the restroom by the time you're back something has passed you but there is an ability to go back now it is not the time the time has gone physically but you can reschedule that event again 
hallelujah let me tell you the truth and I submit to you fountain of life one of the greatest secrets in my life and the life of any great man I know in the kingdom is the privilege of being genuinely anointed you are not going to be a blessing if you are not anointed your real ordination is the anointing did you hear what I said your real ordination to ordain means to legitimize your operation your real ordination is the anointing you cannot do the work of God without the anointing you can sing but you cannot bless till you are anointed are we together you can preach articulately so intelligently so but you will be surprised that what you are preaching regardless the value it keeps falling on deaf ears void of potency and the power to transform the missing ingredient is not knowledge is that that engracing is not there there are people you need the anointing to do business and to excel in it there is an anointing that helps you excel in the marketplace it works like a charm you can see someone and know by that anointing that this guy is worth my partnership he will be great tomorrow there are no guarantees it's a knowing sponsored by that anointing people have called it all kinds of names but the bible calls it the anointing there is a grace for wisdom wisdom beyond your age you will run an organization like 30 people in one when that grace comes upon you are we together now so that when we begin to pray my apologies i know i've stretched you but even if it's just a minute don't look at the areas in your life that are not working it tells you where the anointing is deficient so that you cry with intelligence are we together there is a cry that is with intelligence the cry of blind Bartimio. thou son of david have mercy on me there is a cry that is mere lamentation that does not call for help but there is a cry with intelligence lord you have helped me but this area of finances why is it not opening up don't give excuses this area of favor you've called me to be an intercessor but the moment i begin to pray after five minutes i'm yawning myself to sleep there's something that needs to quicken you and come upon you are we together I open up the Bible to study and I'm sleeping but when I close it I can be on social media or on my call for a long time something is wrong but I'm praying for someone tonight something you didn't enter this building with will live with you you didn't hear what I said that when you were living home you came like Saul when Saul left his father's house he didn't carry the anointing he went back with but when he met Samuel Samuel said is it not because God has ordained you listen I like what Samuel told Saul I think that's where we we'll end this meeting with is it not because the Lord has anointed you not to be king to be captain over his inheritance captain over his inheritance you need to know what god has first to know when he makes you captain the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the lord the earth itself is the lord when god makes you captain over his inheritance you are captain over his resources you are captain over this is beyond being a king samuel said i will tell you why i'm anointed i'm anointing you the lord has made you captain over his inheritance captain over his inheritance captain over his resources captain over his program you're going to pray one prayer father the kind of encounter i need to be a sign and a wonder let it rest upon me now go ahead and pray with power in the next one minute pray pray cry from the depth of your heart Halaka bereke parato sabras, krata parato sabrande bereko siata. The grace for favor, pray. 
the grace for speed the grace for restoration someone pray that every area of your life where you've not seen the glory of God manifest you can pray and even if you've seen the glory of God in that area it can be from glory to glory from glory to glory if Jesus increased you can increase if Jesus increased in wisdom you can increase in wisdom if Jesus increased in stature you can increase in stature if Jesus increased in favor my life by this anointing must become a manifestation of the glory of God in Jesus name we pray hallelujah do you believe in prophecy can I speak over your life you see the prophetic has been abused to a point that the life and the power that comes from it is no longer seen unfortunately and sadly and I know God is helping his body on that wise but let me tell you the truth there are certain realms in the spirit you can never enter until the prophetic comes to midwife your journey as powerful as Jesus was when he walked upon the earth three prophets had to play a role in his life otherwise he would not rise number one was Simeon the prophet number two was Anna the prophetess number three was John the Baptist himself otherwise Jesus would have failed as Jesus the word incarnate among the many factors that control results in this kingdom is the power of the prophetic the prophetic can recalibrate climates and you believe me when I say that recalibrate climate there are two dimensions to the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic where God reveals details about your life brings edification comfort builds your faith and gives you direction but the more superior dimension to the prophetic is the creative dimension it makes things to happen that had no business happening when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would have happened anyway no no he made it happen so the creative dimension of the prophetic scans events that are consistent with the will of God and with the creativity of a movie director he picks those events and makes them manifest in your life that means on your way out from this church you were not supposed to meet a destiny helper but the prophetic can come upon your life listen to me believe what you are hearing it can place someone on the road who has no business going there so when God says I'm going to lift you you see what happens is that the spirit of wisdom moves in honor to that prophecy if it is of God and begins to source for the human actors that must participate with prophecy to make it happen now men of their own accord can reject that prophetic word it will keep scanning around Lagos until it finds a man and then it positions that man and acts out the manifestation of that prophecy I pray for you in the name that is above all names every door that has been closed over your life I stand by the God who has called me and I speak to that door fountain of life that door opens now 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 
thing upon your life that represents witchcraft and the activity of darkness manipulations of familiar spirits orchestrations of dark powers i come in the name of the lord and by the agency of the blood i decree and declare that spiritual climate is shifted over your life that climate is shifted over your life shifted over your family shifted over your life shifted over your family shifted over your life in this kingdom hear me believers who hates you does not matter don't worry about who hates you but who likes you that is the person you should be concerned about are we together if you are Esther don't worry about her man your concern should be Ahasuerus that is the one who can make you king and that is the one who can remove you in the name of Jesus everyone ordained to be a helper by God who is yet to show up in your life by the power of prophecy I compel them to show up in your life I compel them to show up in your life show up in your business show up in your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ you have lost relationships help those under the anointing you have lost money you have lost many things but restoration is a possibility i want to place something on your head in the name of jesus i prophesy over you between now and the end of may i call upon the god of heaven that everything you have lost right from last year into this year you have the faith to believe it i declare restore 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah let me speak over those trusting God for a job one time Jesus sent people he gave a parable to look for men to go and walk in the vineyard he met others who agreed for a denary later on he was still looking for people and there were some unemployed people and he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employs us and immediately he spoke there was a there was something for them to do I pray for you your space in this Lagos or in Nigeria or in Africa or in any nation of the world I push you by prophecy to that space I push you by prophecy to that space in the name of Jesus fountain of life hear the word of the Lord you are stepping into your season of laughter I want you to write it down I'm saying it to you by the spirit of the living God Sarah said and all those who hear this will laugh with me this is what the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you and in the name that is above all names the grace that backs that prophetic word I release it upon you laughter in your homes laughter in your job laughter in this church for the bible says though weeping endures for, but for a moment and even with the night it says but joy i prophesy to you enter your season of laughter testimonies upon testimonies god will turn your life around turn your life around Turn your destinies around in the name of Jesus. And every force that has found that you must cry and remain crying as a family, as individuals, I curse it right now. Again, I repeat, step into your season of laughter. 
Please stand. Let's stand. Laughter is connected to victory. You don't laugh during trainings. Laughter is also connected to completion. You go and investigate the meaning of laughter. Laughter like tongues is a mystery. That is the reason why even babies laugh. They have no knowledge yet they laugh. Because it's a mystery. Sarah cried for many years. But she laughed when Isaac came. That means laughter is also associated with the birthing of new things. New visions. Children, barren people who have not carried children will stand on this altar and celebrate twins and triplets. So shall it be. In Jesus name. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.